Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do this in design space. So I wanted, my face is really big right now because <laughs> I wanted to show you so that it makes sense while we're designing. Okay, so I have the Pringles SVG file. You can get that from theuselesscrafter.com or on Etsy. And what it comes with is it comes with the measurements for the circle, the top tab up here, which I make thicker than the bottom tab. Okay, so these two tabs and then the middle tab, which goes all the way around. What I would say is, um, depending on the paper and whether you like things to overlap or not, you can change these sizes. These are SVG files. All you would do is you would go and unlock it and make it longer. It's going to vary because the thickness of the paper, when it wraps around, it's gonna change your measurements. So this is the base and then you can go ahead and make it longer. That's That would be my recommendation. Going longer is always great. You can always have a little bit of overlap and you can match all the overlaps to be in the back. All right, so this is what you have, the circle. The circle is this piece right here. It goes on top of the lid. Um, I would not change the measurements of the circle though, okay? And the reason is it fits perfectly on top of the lid and it gives and it fits perfectly for the dome. In this case today, we're not doing the dome, that plastic dome that you can get on Amazon, but um, that circle is perfect for that and the way it fits right here, okay? This is the top tab, this is the bottom tab, and this green piece in the middle is this middle piece, all right? Okay, so. I'm going to make this smaller and we're gonna work in design space right now. Okay, the SVG file is just those components. Everything else you're gonna add on with design space images, with images that you've uploaded, whatever it is. All this stuff is, is the extra that you're gonna make it your own theme, okay? All right, so let's get started. What you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna upload the file, okay? And so it's gonna stay in the image library, just like all your other um, all your other files and also what Design Space provides you, okay? So I'm gonna type in Pringles. And here's my Pringles SVG file. So I'm gonna to add to Canvas. So what's nice is you don't have to recreate it each time. You can just go and you know ungroup it and you can delete this. This just gives you the directions, right? Um, and here are all the pieces. They come in different colors so that you can change your, um, you can change the colors and, and if you wanna match it. So I'm gonna, then you can ungroup it, okay? So I'm just gonna delete that because we already have our pieces. So what I like to do is I think of this center, like I, this, this rectangle wraps around the middle part of your Pringles can, right? So all my decoration fits in the middle right here. So all those hearts that you saw, it's basically, you're gonna go into images and search for hearts. And both, both items, this item right here and also let me see if I can find the other one that I used. Um, it was here, oh here, I think it was, yeah, it was this one. Okay, I'm gonna add to canvas. And then you're just gonna resize it. Resize it and add the colors that you want, okay? So like for instance, this one, oops. I don't think it was this, was it this? It looks a little bit thicker than the one I used. My mouse is wonky right now. Okay, so on this one, oh, it is different than the one I used, but you kind of get the idea. You can start changing these um, to the color that you want. You can do color sync and start, you know, just dropping it in. And then you can resize everything to fit here. So for instance, we're gonna resize this, make sure that it's not so big in this center piece right here. So that looks about right. And then you can just overlap them and you know, do whatever it is that you want with that. Okay, now this, let's talk about this. We know our dome is 3.18 inches across, right? So we wanna make this, so you can see right here. So I kept it around that size, the way it came in, 3.15 by three inches, okay? So then what I did was 
that is my gold frame, right? Like the thin lines. I want an offset because I want everything to sit solidly behind it. So I'm gonna do an offset. I believe I did the offset at 0 0.10. So you're gonna change that so it's a thinner look. Um, and we're gonna apply, okay? Now, in that offset though, let's go back to layers for a second. So here's the offset. I'm gonna go to contour. And I'm gonna close out some of these so that some hearts are gonna be white, some hearts are gonna be purple, because my theme was purple, gold, and white, okay? So I'm gonna make this smaller so we can see it. Okay, so like for instance, I'm gonna select on this, this one, and maybe this one, and this one, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay. So let's change, so that layer is going to be my purple layer. So I'm gonna make it look just like my other one. And this top layer was gold, so I'm gonna change it to this gold, okay? And then I'm gonna do one more offset. And I'm gonna apply, and on this one, I'm gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna hide everything. The whole thing's gonna be solid. So what it's going to look like, oh, did it not? Let's go to contour and click hide all. Okay, and that one is going to be white. So you can see there are some white hearts coming through. The gold is around all the hearts, and then we're going to have some purple hearts. Um, okay, so that's done. The word grandma. Grandma is one of my favorite fonts right now, or the one that I use for grandma is one of my favorites. It's from Creative Fabrica, Creative Fabrica, called the Ashley Marie font. And it comes with this style and this style, I, and, and the one behind it. So when you get this one, it's gonna come with all three. I'm gonna show you just really quickly um, what it looks like. I, I have only used that really, really thin one. Hold on, let me go back to the one that I use. I use this one right here, that middle line. I absolutely love it. I, I don't know, there's something super cute about it that I I just love. So I've been using this Marie part with the little bow. I It's thin, um, it cuts well though. It didn't, so this one, um, let me go back to design space. This one didn't cut that first layer well because it was, so, I mean, look at how small it is, right? So let's go to grandma, let's go to text and put in Marie font. So a lot of times, I mean, I could have gone around it by making it bigger, but I wanted to keep this size. So I went with the first line, the first layer is HTV, heat transfer vinyl in white. And then I um, applied heat to, to the gold. All right, so here's grandma. I mean, look at that. I just, this font is so stinking cute. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff because it's so busy right now. And you can see because I was doing a couple of Pringles can, I just cut a couple of these. So this is all one, I just duplicated it. And then when I went to go to the Make It page, I did two copies of everything, just so that I had extras and I can always use hearts in another, you know, on another project. All right, so this one I'm gonna make a little bit smaller. And I want it to go with this, right? So obviously I need to make it around four inches or three and some, right? Okay, so here's my first layer. It's gonna be white, so I'm gonna change it to white. Then I'm gonna do my offset, and I'm actually gonna do my offset even thinner than this, maybe 0.075. Okay, and then do another offset. So same thing that we did um, for the hearts, I'm just doing the same thing. I did three layers, okay, and that's it. Um, before I forget though, this text, you want to weld it, right? So let's weld it and see what we have. Okay, so when we welded it, oh my gosh, my mouse. You see how these closed up? So we wanna undo it. 
The workaround for this is to make it really, really big. Okay, so I'm gonna make it really big. And let's see if when we weld it, if it does it again. Okay, so it's fine. The other workaround is to actually separate them a little bit and make it further, but I feel like that ruins the way it looks. So I like to make it really big and then I just make it really small again to fit back into my project. I don't remember. I should have looked at the sizing of it. I think it was a little bit smaller than that. I think that looks about right. And you're done. All right, I hope that was helpful. Watch the next one to piece it all together and you're gonna see it's just super, super cute. And you can make this any theme, any color, anything that you want. All right, I'll see you guys next time, bye.